Greetings, fellow detectives. Wizard Kitten here, bringing you part nine in Let's Play The Sims for Nancy Drew. We are at Nancy's house here. It is Thursday morning, and as we can see, she has work in two hours. Nancy is feeling flirty because she is in anticipating a romantic holiday. Ooh la la, tomorrow is the day to be romantic. Does Nancy have that special someone to spend the day with? And she does because she and Ned recently became an official dating couple. So if we look at their relationship, um, they are, they are soulmates. Two Sims, one heart. Oh, Boyfriend, dating, exclusivity, a relationship. I didn't know they were soulmates already. Honestly, I think they are soulmates. I think they're perfect together, and I think it's so sweet that Nancy is excited for Love Day tomorrow. Um, tomorrow will actually be the 10th episode in this Let's Play, and I have kind of committed to doing the thing where we play as a different household for um, every five episodes. Carson's heading off to work as a lawyer. There he goes. Um, Nancy's having a nice little bagel before work. Great idea, Nancy. So, but anyway, I've been committing to... Um, playing as a different household every five episodes, which is actually perfect because we can play as Ned's point of view yeah, for Bahorn. Love Day tomorrow. Hospa. And maybe we can also do some uh, mm -hmm. uh, Love Day romance interactions with um, Bess and George since we haven't really seen them with their um, crushes yet. And I think that would be really nice to see. And Nancy does have work during the day. Um, she works until 6 tomorrow. So maybe Ned will plan a really romantic evening for them after that. Um, so yeah, so that'll probably be in the next episode. But Nancy has a big day of work ahead of her. It's entirely possible that if she works really hard, she could get a promotion today. So that would be awesome. I would love to see that. Oh, she's giving Hannah a hug in the morning. That's so sweet. Nancy is in such a good mood. I think she's just really looking forward forward to everything especially now that things with her and Ned are going so well she's probably telling Hannah she's like oh Hannah I just Ned is so sweet and I feel so lucky to be with him and I think I'm really excited for tomorrow to be spending love day with him because it is love day basically Valentine's Day romantic spirit give flowers go on a date all that kind of good stuff oh join Yes, we're going to join Nancy going to work today. It is, what is this? This is probably like the seventh time that Nancy has been to work. Sixth time, maybe. She's been doing a really good job at work lately. She struggled um, a little bit ago trying to issue citations to people because she just would not do it. There are plenty of people to issue them to, but she wouldn't stop and talk to them. So that was a bit of a struggle. Uh, but otherwise, I think she's doing fairly well. And we'll try to make sure that she gets her performance bar all the way up today. Because we don't need to spend any time interrogating a sub... Su I was going to say subject. A suspect. Uh-oh. Do we have two different kinds of music going on? We do have two different kinds of music going on. Which usually means that I have to go out of my game if that happens. I think it's because we were looking at the calendar before we went to the menu. So that could be problematic. Oh no! Naya Buya. No! Nancy, no! Okay, good, good. So we were able to go into the calendar to stop that from happening. That's good. That's actually a glitch that I experience uh, fairly frequently with my Sims game. Is I'll be I'll still hear the menu music when I go in to live mode in a particular game. Um, but I'm glad that that resolved. That's good. Nancy, you need to use the restroom. Why are you just standing there? This has also been an issue in my game. They just stand there and stare at me. Seriously, Nancy, go. Go to the bathroom. You need to go to the bathroom. Do it. Go. It's queued up in your th inventory to do. Go. <laughs> oh, my goodness gracious. These Sims. Okay, guys, we switched control to Hannah and switched back to Nancy. So let's see um, if she's actually able to do anything now. Okay, this looks better. She's at least going into the building to use the bathroom, which I didn't tell her to do earlier. So maybe it just got glitched out because the calendar was up when we were going to work and it got really confusing. 
but it looks to be a little bit better now and we actually didn't lose too much time it's only 10 30 which is good gotta love glitches gotta love glitches Are we gonna just take forever to use the bathroom, Nancy? <laughs> I got distracted because she was taking so long. Okay, whose computer can we steal? Can we steal uh, Alice's computer here? Because we need to get a case assignment. We have a lot of work to do and not a lot of time to do it. So Nancy really needs to get a move on. There we go, Nancy. Oh, she didn't even wash her hands. Nancy, ew. You don't use a public restroom and then not wash your hands, but I guess, this is pretty important. She's going to not wash her hands and then use the public work computer. Good job, Nancy. Very sanitary. Excuse me, Alice Spencer Kim. We need to use your computer because we need a case assignment pretty desperately. Could we use the chief's computer? It looked like the chief was... Oh, no. There's just a bunch of people in here. Is this lady dripping? Dorothy Dagworth? She looks like she's dripping water. Oh, she totally is. Was it raining outside? It's sunny today. How is she dripping water? Maybe she was undercover somewhere weird. Who knows? This is a very lovely town. I could totally see this being River Heights. Look at this park over here. Oh, that is so pretty. Can Nancy explore this park if she wanted to? That's a wild blackberry bush. That's a wild strawberry bush. Okay, there you go, Nancy. Finally got your case assignment. Good job. Good job. Search criminals at the bookie station. Cross-reference the police database. Do that since you're on the computer. Um, with a crime scene photo. We haven't even visited a crime scene yet. We don't even have any evidence to like cross-reference with. Shouldn't we maybe go visit a crime scene <laughs> with our new case assignment? That seems weird. Very, very strange. Very, very strange. Okay, we cross-referenced. That's good. Now what can we do? Add clues? Start case map. We better start a case map. Go ahead, Nancy. Go start a nice little case map for our next case. We've solved one case so far, and I think we can be well on our way to starting a second. That would be awesome. If Nancy decides to stand up and go over, which would be great. And pretty soon, we won't have to wear this officer outfit anymore. We'll get one of these cool detective outfits. That would be nice. It's just like an alibi in ashes when Nancy has to put up pictures on the corkboard. It's just like it. I love it. I love it so much. Oh, good. Good job, Nancy. Okay, now add clues to the crime map. <laughs> And then maybe we'll have to travel to the crime scene because we do not have any more clues. Clue discovered. Nancy has discovered that the suspect is wearing a long sleeve shirt. Good. That's good information. Ooh, is this person a thief? Because there's lots of valuable items on here. Travel to crime scene. Yes, that is something we need to do. So let's travel to the crime scene. We'll get some more evidence. I think this is a theft. You know, this is somebody stealing really valuable items. Maybe I'm trying to think of some mysteries where valuable items get stolen, like Phantom of Venice, maybe, where all of the um, really rich historical cultural artifacts were being stolen throughout Venice by the Phantom Thief. Maybe it's a case like that. Nancy can use her uh, detective skills that she gained from that mystery to help her with this mystery. There was this really weird guy who had an obsession with Tessera and wouldn't stop talking to me about his Tessera and asking me about my locket and was being really creepy. Yeah, so hopefully there's not that kind of person in this crime scene. At a crime scene, we will investigate and talk to witnesses. Yes, yes. Ooh, there are plenty of clues to collect here. Collect evidence sample, take evidence picture. Oh my gosh, this, whoever was here uh, left a lot of evidence behind. Take some more evidence pictures. We want lots of clues. Lots of clues. Look at them all. There is a huge issue here. She's an officer? Why is she wearing bunny slippers, a skirt, and a polo? That's weird. Okay, that's a witness. Oh, Buck is here. He was a witness? Oh, poor Buck. What happened? Let's go talk to him. He's really sad about this, so I think we want him to um, feel a little bit better. Because Nancy at least uh, knows who Buck is. Or she doesn't, actually. She had the introduction option with him. But we'll get a report from him. 
There's a weird collection of people here. I wonder if Demario Wildsmith uh, and Miranda, Miranda Cadigan live here. Uh, a witness report has been added to your show. Buck provided some valuable information. Thank you, Buck. Okay, can we collect um, another evidence sample and take another picture? And then we'll, maybe we'll get a witness sample from this person, Miranda, who we tried to give a citation to in the last episode. I think it was the last episode, but Nancy really was struggling to do that <laughs> appropriately. Okay, got some more crime photos. We're getting a lot of good stuff. Okay, one more witness report, and then it looks like we should return to the police station. Okay, Miranda provided some valuable information on the crime. Good deal, good deal. Get another witness report? Okay, we'll get one more witness report. Demario Wildsmith. I love, I have the Harry Potter mod pack installed, so all of the surnames of the randomly generated townies are um, uh, um, yes. Harry yes, Potter you know surnames. So like Bone Wildsmith is the same surname Ganesh. as Ignatia Wildsmith, the Ravenclaw inventor of flu powder. And I only know that because I'm a proud Ravenclaw. Uh -huh. <laughs> Otherwise I wouldn't probably know something quite that obscure. Although I do know quite a bit of obscure Harry Potter info. I am definitely obsessed. In fact, leave that in the comments. If you are also obsessed with Harry Potter and know your house, please leave it in the comments below. I would absolutely love to see that. Yes, we can clean up the crime scene. Our little uh, progress tracker is telling us to do that anyway. And oh my gosh, the second Fantastic Beasts movie coming out in November. I am so excited for that. Cannot wait. There's a lot of exciting things that are supposed to be coming out in the next year. And I'm really looking forward to uh, that second Fantastic Beasts movie. And I'm really looking forward to the supposed release of Midnight in Salem in spring 2019. That better happen. I so want that new Nancy Drew game. So bad. Let me know in the comments if you are also looking forward to that game. <laughs> oh, goodness. Goodness gracious. So many things to look forward to. That's always exciting. What are some things that you guys are looking forward to? Maybe you should put it on my radar. More things to look forward to. Could always use that. All right. Nancy has returned to the police station. Good job, Nancy. And now we need to cross-reference the police database. Um, good. Yeah, let's do that. Let's borrow Alice's computer again. We're always bother borrowing Alice's computer. Let's borrow this lady's computer and be nice for once. And we will cross-reference the police database with, with this witness report. Let's do that. Because we need some more clues for our mystery. I'm glad this is working now, because it was really annoying when it wasn't working. There you go, Nancy. I was worried for a second that I, when I said that, I jinxed myself and then it stopped working. Yeah, like Virginia Rack Harrow. That's uh, definitely a Harry Potter surname. I can't remember uh, who a Rack Harrow would be, though. It kind of sounds like a Death Eater surname, but I don't know for a fact. Excuse me, Dominique Robbins. Oh, she got off the computer super quick. Or at least she stopped doing whatever she was doing pretty quick. Oh, thank you. That's so nice of you. Nancy is so excited for her holiday tomorrow. She just cannot wait. Maybe she, ooh, I was trying to think what Nancy should do after work today. Maybe she and Bess, George, and Helen should all go shopping together and maybe get a cute new outfit because it's love day tomorrow. And I'm sure it'll probably be Bess's idea. Bess will probably be like, girls, we need to go shopping for we have an exciting holiday tomorrow. And I think Nancy would be down for that. I could see Nancy enjoying shopping. Every once in a while. I love shopping. I think it is so much fun. And I always feel a little bit weird saying that because it's like, oh, I don't want to fall into that stereotype of girls loving shopping and being all girly. But I just do. I think it's really fun to find something. Like if you have something in mind that you really want to find and you go on a hunt for it, it's kind of like a treasure hunt. It's like a scavenger hunt. And when you find that perfect thing that really speaks to you, whether it's clothes or decorative items or even food, I mean, I just really love that. I think it's a cool feeling. Let's cross-reference the database again with a crime scene photo. So basically what I'm saying is don't feel bad if you like shopping because girls can like whatever they want. They can like baseball, they can like football, they can like hockey, and they can like shopping. 
to each her own. Oh, it's getting warm out too. It's sunny and warm. I wonder what the forecast is for tomorrow. We better add some of these new clues that we found to the crime map. Yeah, this is definitely somebody stealing valuable items. Absolutely. There's lots of gold, lots of bronze. This piggy bank, maybe. <laughs> Who discovered? Yeah, Who the suspect is an art lover. Pause. That makes sense. Nancy has discovered another clue. Okay, can we go analyze some evidence? I think it makes perfect sense that the suspect is a... Um, whatchamacallit, an art lover. Because look at this. This person is clearly stealing valuable works. There's a, except for the penguin TV, that's kind of random. But maybe it's a vintage penguin TV. So we know that the suspect is wearing a long sleeve and is an art lover. Oh, that reminds me, one of you guys told me, um, or reminded me that in the rewards store, there is a trait um, called observant, which helps you figure out the traits of others just by meeting them, which would be perfect for Nancy, and we have enough points for that. So I am going to redeem that and get that right away, because that will be perfect for her job. And she totally would be an observant person. Let's see her new skill. Yay! Observant. Good job, Nancy. Yeah, that'll be super helpful for her work as a detect detective. And I'm sure she learned that over the years, just having to um, interview suspects, even before she did her work as an official officer. I'm sure that was something that she needed to do. Would not surprise me in the least. Look at Nancy analyzing her evidence, being all scientific. This looks totally like the deadly device kind of analysis. Very serious. Produced a useful clue about the crime. Good. Can we add that clue to our map? Add clues. And then maybe we should have Nancy, since her performance is already so high, have her take care of a few of her needs so she can have a fun evening shopping with her buddies, with her fair friends. The suspect is male, okay. Can we add any more clues? I feel like we have more clues. Oh, Ben Koya. Nancy, you're so flirty. She'll want a flirty outfit for tomorrow, too. And if it's going to be warm tomorrow, which I bet it will be. Hmm. Oh, the suspect has blonde hair. I think that's definitely enough information to go on for tomorrow. Let's have Nancy um, go take a shower real quick so that she can be in great shape for tomorrow. Can we replace this? computer oh we have to repair it oh no thank you <laughs> that takes such a long time wow this person is stealing a lot of stuff they're stealing valuable art they're stealing statues they're stealing like gold and silver tea sets and gold and silver artwork wow okay i think we definitely have enough to put an APB in, but we will do that the next time we're at work. I don't want to do it today because we won't have enough time to really follow up on it. So that'll be next time. Oh, Carson, good job. Look at you earning so much money. Yeah, the Drews are definitely not hurting for money. Even when they have to pay their bills, the bills are like 4,000-ish. I've paid them a couple of times for the household, and they really do okay. They're doing pretty well. I don't think Nancy's gonna get a promotion today. I just think she's close, but not quite there. Should we have her get her fun up? Yeah, better go play some chess. She can get her hunger up when she's out with her friends. I think there's a lot of cafes. I'm thinking of having them go to Magnolia Promenade, which is kind of the shopping district neighborhood. I think that would be a good little neighborhood to go to. Get some fun outfits. And even if they uh, can't get outfits there, maybe I will have Nancy like go into sneaky create a sim and we'll get her a, a cute new outfit for tomorrow. She's still flirty. How long does this last? Does this last all day long? It does. Wow. That's impressive. Carson doesn't have it. Mm. Um, so it must, and neither does Hannah, but neither of them have significant others. I wonder if that's a yeah. move that's specifically reserved for people who do have significant others or not. Huh. I'm not sure. Huh. Could be either. Ah. Good for Nancy to get her logic skill up. She also needs to read three books. What's, I wonder what skill we should go for next. 
as far as her aspiration points. We did just use quite a bit up, so it'll be a while before we can do anything. But if we have her uh, get her logic skill up and read some books, I think she'll be on her way, well on her way to being able to get another trait. Oh, she wants to get to know Joe. She wants to know Joe a little bit better at work. That's so sweet. Nancy, you're so friendly. And as usual, time is going overboard, but it will backtrack when we get home, so we'll just make the most of it. Uh, Nancy, why don't you have a sandwich? If it'll let you. It might send us home before she can actually eat it. <laughs> this is such a boring employee lounge. Not that employee lounges are typically... Oh, there's one piece of art on the wall. Very nice. <laughs> Not that all employee lounges... Oh, this is super boring, too. Like, who would want to work out in here? What would you be thinking about to keep your mind off of working out? There's not even a TV. Oof. Oh, yeah, Nancy. Good idea. Let's just go have our uh, meal at work in front of the chief and show him that we're not working. Good job, Nancy. Good thinking. <laughs> Although we were supposed to go home two and a half hours ago, so it's not our fault. Or was it just one and a half hours ago? One and a half hours ago. But still, we were supposed to be done. <laughs> there we go. <gasps> we did get promoted! Nancy's been promoted to detective! Yes! She will now make an additional 14 per hour for a grand total of 52 per hour. That's a good salary. And she received a ton of bonuses. Wow, good job, Nancy. I did not think she would get promoted. I'm so proud of her. Good deal. So that sets her up very nicely for her next day of work, um, which I've, I'm sure will probably still be tomorrow. But we will not be joining her at work tomorrow. We will be playing from the perspective of the River Heights friends. The group, the club, which has a phoenix emblem because of my Harry Potter mod pack. <laughs> If anyone has been curious about that, that is why the mod pack uh, gets rid of all the other club icons and makes the icons Harry Potter themed. And I thought the Phoenix was the least wizard-like one. I think it's kind of funny too because, I mean, Phoenixes are associated with fire. And the one game where we see all these people is Alibi and Ashes where there was obviously a fire in the town. So I think that's pretty funny. All right, Nancy. Oh, it is 621. She's still flirty. Let's have her change into an outfit. It's a little cool outside again. Let's put her in this Don't little I. outfit here. <laughs> it's cold. It's sunny. It's almost summer. So this is a good excuse to get some summer outfits too. So I think she is going to call up um, travel. Let's go travel. And we want Helen to come. And we want Bess to come, and we want George to come. And we are going to travel to Magnolia George? Promenade for a little girls' hangout. Oh, pause. Last hey, time we tried to do a girls' hangout, the guys crashed the party. They We tried to do girls' night bowling, and then all of the guys came too. The whole club came, <laughs> which was kind of funny. Um, but it looks like we're just traveling with the girls. That's what I want to do. I just want them. And we're gonna go to Magnolia Promenade and we are going to go to probably J, F, and S, Clothiers. Clothier? Clothier. Maybe it's French. The Clothiers. Clothiers. And it's a good thing that we took care of Nancy's needs because she's actually in a pretty good mood to do some shopping. So perfect. I love it. One of the things I wish in these little shopping places, um, I wish that you could look in the mirror and customize your own outfit uh, because you have to buy the outfits that are on the, the mannequins. You can't just create your own. And a lot of the ones that they put on the mannequins are not quite right for the style of Sims that I play with. Sometimes they are. I feel like my style and The Sims' randomized styles don't always match up. But the, to be fair, the randomized styles can get really weird. They get really quirky. Okie dokie. Hey, girls. Club members have been notified and are on their way. Okay, but which club members? Two. Just these club members, <laughs> right? Uh -huh. Can Nancy um, brighten George's day? Can she... Uh, hang out with Bess. Give Bess a hug. Uh -huh. Oh, yep, here they all come. <laughs> Ned, you're not supposed to be here. We're looking for outfits for shopping. 
Um, compliment hey. uh, Helen's outfit oh. while we're at it. That is such <laughs> a good <laughs> outfit, and Helen is slaying oh. it. She looks so good. <laughs> guys, there's Chet. There's Ned. You guys keep crashing the party. We can't hang out without you guys coming along, too. Oh, so <laughs> oh funny. Helena. Okay, well, if they're going to come, oh. then we might as well change the club activities <laughs> to <laughs> shopping because that is what we are doing. Let's see. Would that be under social or hobbies, maybe? Um, it could be like try on outfits, fun and games, no home activities. Let's just say we're trying on outfits yes, boy. Really and being friendly and funny with everyone. Oh, shit. Yeah, Nancy, you can just hang out with the girls and the guys can do their own thing. Talk about the group. Cop talk about the River Heights friends. Fess, I think you need to um, wear an outfit other than your Shattered Medallion outfit. Oh, she can, like, I was like, who am I on? But Beth, Nancy can give Bess a sexy pose. That's a little weird. Um, get to know Bess. Nancy Drew is doing a great job with River Heights friends. I hope they stick around for a long time. Oh, that, Helen, you're so sweet. That's so nice of you. Okay, let's go in here and look at some outfits. What's the weather like tomorrow? Oh, Bess is cheerful. Tomorrow is sunny. Do we know what the temperature is? It's sunny. Is it going to be warm or cool? If it's going to be cool, I actually wouldn't mind Nancy in this outfit. That would be kind of cute. But I feel like we need something a little more... Uh, I don't like the hat on there. <laughs> Ned is trying on a new outfit, too. Ooh, Ned. That's quite the outfit. I don't know if I f how I feel about the green shoes for you. He's totally thinking about it, though. Oh, who's trying this on? George, you're trying on a dress? I actually love that on you, George. I think that's really cute. You should totally get that. <laughs> I think that's adorable. Ooh, Nancy could try on this one. Here, let's try on this outfit, Nancy. Oh, are there more outfits upstairs? There are. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa, sorry about that. Oh, that one's kind of cute. That's what she was trying on, too. Why is my camera being so funky? I think because I'm trying to follow Nancy around, but it's just not working out very well. <laughs> Try on this outfit, Nancy. See how this looks on you. Yeah, garna pay. <laughs> oh, Nancy, that's cute. <laughs> oh, I like that on her. On her, that is so cute. Yeah, but let's maybe have her try on this one up here too. This one that she was thinking about trying on. I feel like it's not as feminine, and I want Nancy to have a really cute outfit for tomorrow. And maybe this one would be perfect for a date. Where are the other ladies? What are they trying on? Where'd you go, girls? <gasps> Helen and Chet are talking. Very nice. It's Ned is thinking about trying on some outfits. Oh, is George trying on this one? George is surprisingly into the shopping. George, that's cute on you, too. George, you're pulling off so many cute outfits. Oh, Nancy, I didn't see you try it on. Here, try on this outfit. Is this lady, like, selling? Oh, no, she's just watching. <laughs> Room. Did you try it on? Because huh. you're not wearing it. Oh, there you are. <laughs> uh, that's cute, but I definitely like this oh, one down indeed. here better. Let's go try this one on again. Actually, try this one on, too. I want to see how Nancy looks in this one. Try on this outfit. Oh, Bess is thinking about this outfit, too. You can try it on, Bess. Try it on. I bet you look really pretty in that. Those colors would suit Bess. I think that, like, peachy color would look really pretty. Oh, is Helen going to try it on? Oh, Nancy's trying this one on. Oh, I like that. That's kind of like, um, that'd be a good fall look, actually, Nancy. Oh, Helen, you look so pretty no matter what you wear. Let's, I want Nancy to try this one on again, because I think this is the one we're going to get her. I think this is really cute. And it just looked really good on her. Yes, that's perfect, Nancy. And you can do your hair all cute. Okay, Nancy's going to purchase this outfit discard let's discard this outfit or no should we discard this first one i feel like nancy wears the comfortable casual clothes a lot more let's discard this first one i'm kind of not feeling the yellow cardigan <laughs> one anymore it was good for a while but now i like her in this one <laughs> i think that's so cute i love it <gasps> helen you look cute in that too 
Yes. Mm. Helen, you are rocking that jacket. Yeah. That is so cute. Chupaza. Boy, yes. Nancy, that's not the outfit. Excuse me. What are you wearing? Ah! Oh, George, that's adorable. Oh. Change outfit, Nancy. That's not the right outfit. That's not the one we picked oh. at all. <laughs> what are we doing? What? 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 Did we just get scammed? Did we just, like, buy the wrong outfit? We were going to purchase this outfit. I want to disc... This is the current outfit. Boo! <laughs> oh, there we go. That's better. Wait, was she just trying it on? <laughs> and is she going to take it off again? If so, that's lame. <laughs> I didn't check her work schedule either. Does she work tomorrow? Oh, interesting. She works Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, and she has Sunday and Monday off. That's weird. But she does still work until 6 tomorrow, so that's good for Ned to know. Boo! That's silly. Okay, can we, like, um... I could cheat and fix that, because I wanted her to wear that pretty outfit. Modifying Kaz. Um, let's modify her in Kaz real quick, and we'll change this outfit, because this is going to be her outfit for when she goes on her date with Ned tomorrow. And I think that's really cute. I love that she's going out ahead of time to go shopping for an outfit. But she's so excited for this day, so I think she would prioritize it a little bit. Narsh goes huh? See, this is not even remotely close to the outfit that we tried on. <laughs> the outfit we did try on, however, let's just get rid of these because I hate the fact that they are um, starred. What is this? Oi. Oi, Nancy, please never wear anything like that ever. <laughs> um, I think that's a base game outfit. Is it base game or is it get to work? It would have to be one or the other because the stores came in get to work. Here it is. And it was the this like peachy color. Ooh. Yeah, I think that's really pretty for Nancy. And it had the cute little boots, the cute little... Um, um, oh, we could do these boots. No, I like the ones it came with. These boots. Where were they? They were down here? I think they were just these ones. Just in the brown. Yeah, I think that's cute. And let's give her a, um, what outfit is this? This is outfit number five. I wanted it to be outfit number one. I feel like there is a way to, like, drag, um, the outfits over because I feel like I've seen people do it, but I don't know how they do it. Let's get a cute bracelet. Something sparkly to match the silver sparkles there. What if we do... No. Well, no. Silver sparkles. Are these sparkly? They're sort of sparkly. Yeah, that that kind of works. So if we take off um, the other bracelet, oh. this one. Yeah, that's kind of cute. Okay, and she's wearing her locket from Ned as usual. And let's fix her hair. I think she would wear her hair down. Hmm. Can we do it like curly? Can she curl it? Because this is her regular hair. Would she do it a little fancy for her date? I think she would. And this is the hair that she has for her, I believe her formal wear. Yep, that's her formal wear. Okay. Good, good, good. Love it all. Love all of it. Let's give her uh, some little silver earrings since you can see her ears. Cute! Okay, this is Nancy's date outfit tomorrow, and that's good for any temperature, too. She can wear it in oh. warm weather because it's short sleeves, or she can wear it in cool weather because she's got leggings and boots on and everything. Sweet. I like it. Good job, Nancy. You found a good outfit while you were out shopping. It's too bad that the store sold you the wrong thing and they gave you a pink leather jacket and green cargo capris instead. Not quite sure what they were thinking there. Maybe they were just like, oh, I don't think Nancy will notice. Let's try and sell her all of this stuff that we've been trying to clearance, but no one will give away. Come on, guys. Nancy is an observant detective. Of course she's going to notice that you gave her the wrong outfit. Crazy. There's no way that would get past Nancy. Not a chance. Not a chance. Do, 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 do. Do, do, do. I wonder if anyone else found any cute outfits. I wonder if Bess or George or Helen found anything fun. Or if any of the guys found outfits while they were crashing our little girls' night yet again. There we go, Nancy. Harpin Much man. better. Much better. Okay, good deal. Helen, I think you should get that. That was cute on you. Ooh, Ned. That would be kind of a dapper look. 
All right, let's end the gathering here because it's pretty late and Nancy does need to work tomorrow. So let's have Nancy head on home. She wants to chat with Chet. <laughs> here we go. Oh, yeah, Helen was trying on that. Oh, Bess was trying on an outfit too. Love it. Oh, yay, and it's raining, and Nancy's using her cute little rainbow umbrella. That's so cute. That would be a good outfit for, like, mid to late spring as well, because it wouldn't be too hot or too cold. I love when you can go outside without wearing a jacket. That is just good time of year. Mwah. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. All right. So I think we will have Nancy head home. We'll get her to bed, take care of her needs and everything. She's kind of hungry, but we'll probably just have her have a big breakfast in the morning. And in the next episode, we will be playing as Ned for at least part of the episode and then probably uh, Bess or George so we can explore their relationships a little bit as well during the day while Nancy is at work. Hopefully one or either of them won't have to work tomorrow. We'll just have to kind of see and then we'll go from there. Oh, Togo came out to greet Nancy. Hello. Oh, that is adorable. So cute. Oh, on Chibi. Oh, Nancy, you are feeling so flirty. You are feeling so flirty. Yes, beautiful. I just realized I hadn't taken any screenshots, and now I'm not going to have any for the thumbnail. So it'll probably be that one. Nice little sneak peek. All right, let's have Nancy use the bathroom and go to sleep. Anyway, thank you so much for watching, fellow detectives. I really hope you enjoyed this episode. Let me know in the comments if you did. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you soon.